right, guys, we're getting a reading going today. We are going to do Spirit Guided. We're just going to see what needs to come out. I did see that some of you are needing to embrace who you are, that you're multi-talented, you're complex, you're different. You're different, and I feel like you're needing to know that. You're needing to see that. I also feel like some of you are holding yourself back from something. So what I was picking up on is that there could be a decision or a direction you're wanting to go in, and you keep saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Whether this be starting something, going in a different direction, I'm hearing do it now. Do it now. What do we have coming in for Pisces? I do want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. If you need anything, guys, check out the description box. Keen offer is down there. You can get a psychic or a medium. You can get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, guys. Remember, this is a sample. It's a sample. Okay. What do we have going on for Pisces? I hear that song in my head. You're one in a million. And I feel like that's something the universe is wanting you to know. Yeah, throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of any time constraints, rules, and be really aware of whatever is fulfilling your heart. Pisces, you're holding yourself back. Some of you guys could be giving yourself rules when you don't need rules. There's a need here. Yeah, with underneath, look, for you to shed the old. There's a change that's coming your way. You need to cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see things as a new project, a new... You're getting new prospects, new beginnings coming to you, Pisces. Some of you could be scared to do it, scared to throw yourself into something new or something different. Some of you could have fears of being seen, fears of being heard, but I definitely get that there's something that you're feeling very inspired about, something that you're wanting to do, Pisces, and you need to do it. Also seeing that a lot of you could be having some fears, some fears that are coming up that you need to shine a lot on. Shine a lot on. All right, let's get some tarot for what's going on. We're going to shuffle these, and then I'll just pick off the top. Universe, what do we have coming in for Pisces? Give Pisces the messages that they need to know. We're going to see what's going down in your current moment. What's the challenge of your current moment? I want to know your past energy, your near future energy, something you're not seeing, Pisces, what the universe is wanting you to know, what you need to focus on, and the possible outcome. What's the current moment? What's the current challenge? Pisces, in your current moment, you have a lot going on. You also have a lot of stress. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot of changes, unexpected events, a lot of things that you're needing to multitask. You could be needing to travel. There could be a lot of communication coming in, and you're not expecting that communication yet. And because of this, you could be definitely making some sort of unwise choice. I feel like you could be missing something. Pisces, there also could be someone in your environment right now that you're having some sort of communication with, and it's someone who lacks integrity. Their motives are questionable, and I feel like that person could be a challenge right now, whether this be a friend, a family member. There's a sneaky energy here, but I do feel like if this is if you're dealing with someone like that, whatever you do that's good is going to come back to you. So don't worry, okay? Interesting. What's the past energy? What's the near future energy? What are you, what is Pisces not saying? What is Pisces not saying? What is Pisces not saying? What the universe wants Pisces to know. Some of you could be going through an awakening. That's the first thing I thought. Some of you could be going through a dark night of the soul. What does Pisces need to focus on? The possible future outcome that's coming up. Aww. And the sun's underneath. We're going to take all those. Okay, so current moment. Again, too much going on. You could have a lot of stress. You could be losing a lot of sleep, a lot on your plate. Be careful. 
because I feel like that can definitely lead to some sort of unwise choices. Are you making decisions out of your ego? Okay, so be very careful with that. Now, Pisces, in your past energy, there was something here where you needed to listen to your intuition. And I just heard, see the red flags. Somebody's been giving you red flags. And I'm saying it again. There's communication in your current moment with someone. You're getting inspired to take some sort of action. And I feel like for some of you, it could be walking away from this person or this thing. It's someone who does not have any integrity and their motives are very questionable. I feel like this person makes a lot of unwise choices. I feel like this person tries to hide a lot. Try to, I feel like this person could also lie. This person could be a fire sign for some of you, not necessarily. I feel like they're very um, immature is kind of what I'm getting, if this is an actual person. I feel like this person is very, very, very mentally immature. Yeah, see, a lot of you guys could definitely be working too much, too many hours, too hard. There's a need here for you to get a balance. There's a need here for you to let other people in. But be careful who you're letting in because someone here doesn't have your best interest at heart. Some of you could also be having some sort of health problems coming in as well or sicknesses coming in because you're burned out. And it, that could be those unwise choices, constantly working, working yourself to death. Now, Pisces, in your near future energy, there's some sort of sadness that's going to be coming in. Some sort of sadness that you're going to have to heal. And you're going to have to let go of the past and what you want is kind of what I'm getting. You're going to get a lot of growth from this experience, but I do feel like it's going to be a challenge. Guys, this could have to do with this person. Which could be why they're telling you to throw yourself into a project or something else. There could be something around you that's about to be crumbling. Something that you've been listening to your intuition on. And it's like you know that something's about to happen. I feel like they don't want you to worry, though. I also get that if there's some sort of misunderstanding, that in the future it'll be healed. You guys will be able to kind of come to terms to what's happened. But I do feel like with the moon that there's things that are hidden here. For some of you, it could be your fears. But no, I feel like something's hidden. Huh. Okay, so what you're not seeing, Pisces, is that a new start's coming. You know, it's interesting. I feel like your angel gods are waiting for you to take that new start. I feel like it's in your environment. And I feel like that's what you're not seeing, is that there's a new start. There is something that you're being pulled and nudged to do, whether it be starting a new journey, a health journey, starting eating differently, starting an Instagram, a YouTube, I don't know, y'all, starting a car club, getting another car. There's something you're feeling inclined to do. And it's like the universe, your, your angel gods are waiting for you to just see it, but you're just la, la, la. You're not paying attention to it. You're needing to trust yourself and put, push any fears that you have to the side because I feel like I feel like you're supported. You have a companion. You have a friend. Some of you could definitely be scared if you have everything it's going to take to make it successful because you don't see everything. But what I'm seeing is that you have the key in your hand. Everything you need to make it happen is going to it's going to work. It's going to work. And that's what you're not seeing is that you're needing to take a leap. You're needing to refocus on something different. Don't focus on throwing yourself into work, killing yourself, being stressed. I'm getting like really helping others, maybe people that don't have your best interest at heart, worrying about what people are thinking, what are they going through. Don't take other people's burdens. Don't take other people's karma. Let them go through it. I feel like you're needing to focus on yourself. Focus on a project or whatever you're needing to throw yourself into. Something that's fulfilling your heart, your soul. For some of you, this could be a calling. <coughs> I might die, y'all. This could be like some sort of calling that you're, you're feeling called to do something. But what the universe wants you to know is that there could be a, temp a temporary pause that could be coming up. Where you're going to need to reflect. Because you're going to need to choose a path. They could also see that you might need to have an awakening where you're going to see things differently because you're still not wanting to take that leap. 
Some of you could be not wanting to embrace your uniqueness, what makes you different. Again, feeling like you don't have everything that it takes. But I feel like the universe is going to show you, you have the key. You have everything that you need. We're right here. Take that leap. Take that, take that leap. Pisces, what you need to focus on right now is the opportunity for new happiness. Yes, there's a lot of things that are changing in your environment. There's a lot of things that you're worried about. There's a lot of fears that are coming to head, but your revelations are going to help make all of that clear. There's going to be a time and a place for all the misunderstandings to be healed. But I feel like there's an opportunity here that you're needing to focus on. And it's an opportunity for you to have a new sense of happiness, for you to walk through a completely different door and go to something new, something fresh, to feel the, the grass underneath your feet, to get that weight off your shoulders. For some of you, you could be coming near to the end of an addiction. I just heard pack your bags. So again, for a lot of you, you're needing to pack your bags for your future. For some of you, you could be needing to take some sort of leadership role. There is a need here for you to step into your purpose and what you feel you've been called to do. And for a lot of you, it's stepping into the spotlight, having some sort of public speaking, having all eyes on you, and you needing to see the bigger picture and where you're going. You not, it's like quit being sensitive to any criticism or any opinions. Because if they don't have the life that you're wanting, then their opinion and their criticism doesn't matter. You're needing to really focus on some sort of subject or career. Again, something that you're wanting to do. And I feel like it's really going to, I feel like you're going to go in a completely different direction. You're going in a new direction. But I feel like the change is hard for you. Now, possible outcome, we have a happy marriage, happily ever after, being emotionally content. This could be feeling happy in your home, having people around you that you can trust, and feeling very successful at where you're at. I feel like you have a lot of new emotional experiences coming your way. Again, I feel like a lot of them are happiness, like new happiness on the horizon. Yeah, look, the high priestess just popped out, but use your intuition. For some of you, you could need to meditate and turn inward to see what your soul's true desire is. Again, you know, for the near future energy, it said that you could definitely need to have a time for pause for you to reflect and get some insight. And it says here, again, that this could maybe not be time for some sort of action, that you could need to actually see, okay, where am I going? Have an awakening where you're seeing things differently. For some of you, this could be developing or strengthening some sort of intuitive gifts or trusting that the wisdom you're getting within yourself is the wisdom you're meant to have. For some of you, I feel like you could have a hard time trusting yourself. Trusting that when you feel, okay, this is what I need to do, that that is what you're being called to do. So what I'm seeing in my head is like your spirit guides being like, yeah, go in that direction. You'd be like, wait, are you sure? And then be like, yeah, 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 go in that direction. You'd be like, wait, I need one more sign. And then giving you one more sign. And you'd be like, mm, no, that one wasn't good enough. I need one more sign. And it's like you just don't truly, truly trust. You're needing to really use your intuition. For a lot of you, I feel like here in the future, you could definitely sit down and really review your past. Review it. In a different in a different energy I feel like you're gonna have a lot of compassion for yourself for your younger self for the things that have happened in the past and I feel like for a lot of you you're gonna get clarity on your life purpose on what you're meant to do and for some of you it could be going down a different direction or adding a different direction but I feel like once you get that you're gonna go towards a time of great joy and great success you're going to get that magical opportunity. You're going to be able to plan things for them to work out perfectly for you. But I see something here where a lot of you could either not know what your calling is or you know and you keep not going in that direction. I hear that song, drink water and mind my business. Let's see what else is coming in for Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces? Spirit guided. 
clear away any excess. It will benefit you. And I was thinking about friends as well. Anybody that you had any um, misunderstandings with, yeah, they'll clear them up. But Pisces, I feel like there is some people in your environment who keep you burdened and stressed out. Yeah, throw yourself into a new hobby or project. Get more information. There's something here. You're wanting to start something new, but you could feel like you're needing to learn something. Again, I feel like you know everything. But maybe you're a perfectionist. Maybe you want... Maybe you don't know everything you feel you need to know to make it successful. It's time. To, it's a good time to start a new business or hobby. What else? There could be some people in your environment who would be willing to help you when it comes to whatever inspires you or whatever your passion is. Um, because they also have that same inspiration. It's shared. I feel like a lot of you could just be working too, too, too hard, and you could be needing to ask people to help. Yeah, you're very close to achieving a goal. You will have a wish come true. See, change the way you look at the situation. It's in the reverse. So you don't need to change something. You need an aha moment. You need the strength and the confidence to go forward. Use your manifestation power. You've gained so much wisdom. It does say that patience could help in this. Yeah, because your anxiety is so high. I feel like a lot of you could just be scared to maybe put yourself out there or do whatever this is. Let whatever this is go. There is something here that you're needing to take a leap on. That you're needing to trust yourself and you need to push your fears aside. And if you're not willing to do that, the universe is going to help you. I feel like they can feel how uneasy you are. Yeah. Patience is going to help. I feel like they can feel how uneasy you are, how worried you are. For some of you, it could definitely help for you to get grounded and not indulge in too much, whether this be fast food, chocolate. I feel like for some of you, you could be suffering from headaches. If you are, it's because you're working too much. You have too much on you. And if that's the case, it's time for you to set some boundaries. Some of you could need to set some boundaries with people. Yeah. Yeah. Out in your environment. There could actually, again, be some sort of hater that you have in your environment. It could be somebody, again, who tries to trick you. It's like this person, I don't know. It's like, I feel like this person could lie to you. And then when you find out that they've lied, you're like, wait, why did you lie? It just, it, it makes no sense to me. And I feel like this person could definitely be a hater, which is why they're wanting you to focus on your money. I feel like whoever this person is, they could also stress you out. For some of you, this could be somebody you work with. For for some of you, it's a family member or a friend. I just heard just because you can do that much doesn't mean you should do that much. So for some of you, it's like you have a full tank of energy and you want to go, 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 go. And they're trying to teach you that just because you have a full, change of, full tank of energy doesn't mean you have to go, 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 go. Yeah, you're really thinking this this through, whatever this leap is, whatever this going to something new is for you. You're really thinking it through. You know what? In the future energy, I want to see what this heartbroken energy is. I'm interested to see what this heartbroken energy is here in the future. What's this heartbroken energy here in the future? See... So in the future, there's some sort of great sadness that's coming in. You need to let go of the past. And I see a loss of peace of mind and personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. So what I'm getting. You could find out here in the near future, Pisces, that somebody's been lying. You could be losing your peace of mind when it comes to some sort of connection. Somebody's actions could also make you feel sad. There's a need here for you to be honest with yourself, Pisces, for you to see this for what it is. Whoever this is, they make you very sad. They make you very disappointed. And it's going to help you grow. I feel like this is somebody that some of you has been there for when they really needed you. Again, you know, it's interesting how I said I felt like this person lied to you. And in the near future energy, there's a liar, cheater, thief energy. Hmm. 
Yeah, just focus on your money. Focus on yourself. Somebody here does not have your best interest at heart. They're, they could be jealous of you. Be careful of allowing your worry to grow out of proportion. It is going to affect your sleep. You definitely need to refocus your thoughts. Do not let this person overwhelm your thoughts. It's time for a boundary. It's time for a boundary. I feel like you've known this has been coming. I feel like you've been overanalyzing it. I feel like you've been procrastinating this boundary here, but it's time. It's time for you to get clarity on what you're desiring for your future. And it's time for you to move forward, no matter what's hidden. Again, the moon in the past, somebody's been hiding something from you. But I feel like you guys are seeing the red flags, which is why they're wanting you to focus on yourself. They're wanting you to take a leap in a different direction. They're handing you a magical opportunity. They're wanting you not to get bored or discontent in your everyday life. And they don't want you to miss the point. They're helping you. Just pay attention. Because I feel like for some of you, you could definitely get in an energy where you're going to get lost, discontent, or bored in your own life. You're needing to wake up and see things for how they are. Yeah, abundance coming in from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient and decide what is next. For some of you, you could definitely be a great example to others. You could also be a spiritual mentor, really focused on discovering yourself. And again, this could be a family member, a friend, a job, a coworker that really, I feel like you could be, they could be triggered by you. This person, whoever this person is, I just heard they're a snake. But what I'm getting is like it's the kind of person where you think that they're a friend or a great family member, but you don't realize that they're wrapped up your arm in their snaky ways. That's kind of what I get. Yeah. Conflict with others. Caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is worth your time. Do not give too much energy to someone who has horrible motives and has no integrity. They don't even know who the hell they are. They're a crappy person. Karma's going to come back at them. Stand up for yourself and your time. You and your time is a lot more worthy than that. Very interesting. Yeah. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power. But make sure you choose your battles wisely. If you go in with good intentions, you're going to get good intentions back. I feel like whoever this person is, I don't know, y'all. I don't like this person. This person, I feel like, has very negative thoughts. I feel like they could be lacking into mo lacking in money. I feel like they're having a lot of challenges. I feel like, I feel like for some of you, they could want you to help or do something like that. I don't know. I'm just getting a very sneaky energy with this person. And look, release endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release a situation or people that are holding you back. That's what I'm getting. It could definitely be time for a fresh start. Mm, that sucks. Focus on something different, Pisces. Focus on a subject, a career, your money. That's what you're going to see grow. If you focus on this drama, this conflict, this Five of Swords energy, that's what's going to grow. As I said that, it was 2333 on the video timer. Don't focus on that. Um... I think we're going to leave that here for today, guys. Have a blessed day.